The Pentagon is dismissing China's claims that a high altitude balloon traveling over the U.S. is a weather monitoring device that blew off course. Defense officials say they're closely tracking that balloon, prompting U.S. Security of State Anthony Blinken to postpone his planned trip to China. ABC's M. Win has the latest from Washington. The U.S. Pentagon now rejecting China's claims today that the balloon traveling 60,000 feet over the Midwest is a weather monitoring device that blew off course. The fact is uh, we know that it's a surveillance balloon uh, and I'm not going to be able to be more specific than that. Uh, we do know that the balloon has violated U.S. airspace and international law. Uh, which is unacceptable. The Pentagon saying they've conveyed this information to China. The large Chinese reconnaissance balloon now heading southeastward, appearing in these images over Missouri. It comes after photos captured it over Montana earlier, carrying what officials say is the surveillance component that's roughly the size of three buses. We currently assess that the balloon does not present a military or physical threat to people on the ground at this time. Officials confirm the balloon has traveled for days from western Alaska to the Midwest and has gone over and will proceed over nuclear and missile facilities. The president ignoring questions today on the balloon. Biden continues to be briefed on the situation, previously agreeing with recommendations by military leaders against shooting down the balloon due to the risk of falling shrapnel on civilian areas. Despite that, congressional Republicans like Montana Representative Ryan Zinke simply tweeting, shoot it down. The Chinese spy balloon is a clear provocation. U.S. officials underscoring this is not the first time China has done something similar, although it is unusual that this balloon is maneuverable, able to reposition itself and linger over areas. The Pentagon says they believe this Chinese surveillance balloon will continue traveling over the U.S. for a few more days, though they stress at this time it's not deemed to be a threat. M. Nguyen, ABC News, Washington.